Hey everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. <laughs> uh, we're already having a great day here, folks. Uh, happy Passover, happy spring. We've made it to spring. Yay. Uh, happy Holy as well. That's something you recognize. Uh, before we get into our usual rigmarole, let's go ahead and do our introductions. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm your fun gay uncle, and I'm also your uh, GM, storyteller, and professional hobbit uh, here for New Pantheon Academia, powered by Overarms, available now at drivethroughrpg.com. Go ahead, get your copy. It's worth it. Let's meet our table, starting with uh, the greatest digidestined who ever lived, Omega Jones, a.k.a. Critical Bard. Uh, heck yes, TK in the house. Um, Patamon was the best Digimon, period. Was. Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard, Bard, Bard. And I uh, am a human who does things. I uh, will be playing Goame Akinimi, the, uh, the, the, uh, the cool cat with this group of somewhat cool cats. Uh, and his divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god and king of all stories. Love it. Next also, Loki up. Sucks. Oh, oh, hashtag Loki sucks. All right. <laughs> Next, up. <laughs> Next up, they're the uh, last student to join class 1A at uh, UA Academy, RIP Mika. I really hope I get to meet Deku. Um, <laughs> I'm R.I.P. Mika. I'm an actor, streamer, and I'm playing the lovely theater kid, Dolly Wingrove, whose divinity is Persephone, goddess of the underworld, goddess of vegetation, love of my life. Also, hashtag, uh, I would die for Loki. <laughs> I hope you like that. <laughs> All right, chat, we're going to leave that up to you if you're a team uh, Loki or not. But next up, we have some, we have someone who, uh, let's see, I had a good one for them and I completely blanked. So we'll just go with, they were going to be the great, uh, the very best, like no one ever was, mostly Eric. Hi, that's an old anime reference because I'm an old man. Welcome <laughs> on in, everybody. Uh, I'm playing Lennox Thatcher. Uh, who is the the former captain of the football team and an all around jock party guy? Uh, and he is, his uh, his divinity is Ninkasi, the goddess, uh, the Sumerian goddess of beer. And you know, he's he's undecided on Loki. He's a manipulator, and he doesn't know. Like he knows he's, there's a lot of pain there, but you know, it, you know, someone has to take responsibility for their actions. So. And finally, they're the non-binary Sailor Scout who we all love, Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, uh, whose divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, I have nothing further to say. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Also, for some reason, Aki, uh, Web Captioner has decided your name is Hockey. So that's fun for me. On on my web captioner, it it says that I am a key. Oh. Oh wow. Are closer. you also a door? I don't know. I've been a key before, <laughs> but I've never been a door. A door to love. Well, I adore so. you. Oh. Party. Oh. Oh. Party. <laughs> oh, my heart places. So. We want to send out some love to you joining us here live on Twitch. But if you're listening to us on the VOD or on YouTube, listening to us on the podcast, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, do the thing, hit the bell. Why do you hit the bell? I don't know. Let me know. You hit the somewhere. bell so that you Not don't miss your notifications. Yeah, so you get notifications whenever a new video goes live. Notification. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Fair enough. Now... Uh, real quick, we do have a sponsor today with Die Hard Dice. If you go to Die Hard Dice right now, you can get 10% off your order using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. Use command DHD, DH, uh, DH Dice. Got it. I, guess I got it. Got it in one. Uh, in chat for links and info. The code only works until the end of March. So get 
get to it. Do it. Go do it. You I will not regret it. I this game requires dice, and I should probably get out my dice. Yeah, generally, you know role-playing like games require dice. You like that pretty dice? Oh, that's should a like beautiful that die. Dice. This is a Forte Whispers dice. Ooh. I think Whispers is out, but Glamour is still up, which is the same one, but with gold lettering. Nice. Hey, uh, guys, are nice. We should be partners. <laughs> You can, or, you can also order the Critical Bard set, double dip on helping people out. So go check them out. They have wonderful, wonderful things for you there. Also, even with our sponsorship, uh, we are an independent entity. We do not have a corporate sugar daddy. We not we are not owned by anyone. Still taking applications. Just fill out the Google form. But your tips really help pay our wonderful table, keep the lights on, keep our kobolds fed. It's very important. So you, for the low price of $15, 1,500 bets, or five gifted subs, can have our very own Eric read a school announcement. Just don't be a jerk with it. We all... You know the rules. Come on. Don't be like that. You can also, also, as we are, in, as the show is inspired by shows like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or video games like Persona, tarot cards are incredibly important here. And for $20, I will draw from the deck of heroes and have a huge effect on the game. Will it be good? Will it be bad? I don't know. That is not for me to decide. That is for the cards to decide. We like cardboard, uh, cardboard predetermination. It's a thing here. So, with all of that out of the way, last week, you guys had a very fun run-in with Loki. Mm. Where Kwame and him became best friends. Mm. I feel like Just... there's I feel like there's some un- unresolved tension between members of this group and my friend Loki. Yeah, generally. Generally. Now, thanks to Loki, though, you were able to get all the information you could out of the Morrigan, who used to be known as the Phantom Queen, and whose husband has become the King in White, who seems to be playing a chess game against you guys, though you don't have all your pieces yet. So you did determine... The Dagda, exactly. You did determine, however, that the prom... Royals will be making your king and queen pieces. So you're trying very hard to make sure two of you four become prom court. Loki, before he vanished, though, did give you a little gift in new powers that don't seem tied to your divinity. Lenny can now read minds. Kwame has super strength. Manny can face through objects. And Dahlia... You don't know that. We don't I know never Dahlia's got the power, so... We don't know what yours is yet. Yeah, I wasn't chosen. We don't know what Manny's is yet either, in character. What? Yeah, nobody knows true. what Manny can do yet. It's true. Very sad. Mm. So, uh, thanks to that, you were able to take out another crow, this time seeming to be a centaur pawn knight thing. Kwame is the one who's more or less going to be in charge of figuring out which piece is represented from each battle. Uh, you also met Zoya, a Russian uh, student who also has a divinity herself. So your pool of potential allies keeps growing. Stay tuned for New Pantheon, the B team, coming to you cartoon Sundays. <laughs> Uh, actually, wait till the end of this episode. We might have something fun for you. Just like oh, you no. know. Yes. Uh-oh. But that was a week ago. About a week ago. About week a ago. week ago. Thank you. <laughs> the school has quieted down. The papers have been written. The math tests have been graded. And it is a beautiful spring Sunday in North Point, Oregon. And the four of you stand in front of one of the gaudiest buildings any of you have ever seen. Loudly painted in blues and greens, you find yourself in front of Waterworld. One of the largest water parks in Oregon. Wow. What do you think we should ride first? I want to go on the little thing that's like a toilet bowl that you get on in like a little raft. Oh yeah, and you like going like you scroll down. Are you are you talking about the lazy river? 
Or are you no. talking about a slide? No, it it's like this big funnel, and you go around and around in a raft really fast, and then you go down the hole after you lose enough speed. And then you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you don't die, but my goodness, could you imagine going to this place if Iris were here? She'd have us all like wrapped in plastic or something. She would yeah. have the park closed down because she would have already found like 18 violations of their safety code. Yeah, that you have to wear a helmet on the, the big slide now because my uncle knocked himself unconscious on it. Oh, Not a coke gas. That was your uncle? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I like famous. Yeah, it's pretty, like, yeah, Uncle Robert's, like, he's kind of a big deal. He hurts himself a lot in water-based sports. And that's, wow. like, a real fact about my actual uncle. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that an Eric, was that an Eric he's thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this a, a school-sanctioned trip? Is this just, like, friends going? Uh, this was not brought to you by North Point Academy. Uh, that is why Nanako has joined you. You are all meeting Spiro here for his birthday. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Kwame uh, definitely has... Uh, uh, I mean, you know, it's a water park. So, you know, he got the towel around his around his neck, um, glistening. Uh, his... Um, his uh, Trunks are definitely like black with like white web spider webs on them. Um, you know, you got to stick with the theme. Um, but he has a little, um, a small little gift for Spiro and in his in his pocket. Oh, I want to say that like Manny's trunks are like covered in like like a feather motif. Like they've got like a feather motif going on. Like they're kind of this uh, sort of soft green and gold with like. Like, yeah, the, the feathers are gold and it's kind of like a soft green kind of thing. And then like they're just wearing like a plain, uh, maybe like a gray T-shirt or something like that. Uh, what's Mika wearing? I mean, not Mika. What's Dolly wearing? <laughs> Mika's wearing that. I can well, see you. <laughs> Dolly's probably wearing something similar to this. Like uh, swim shorts, a little tank top and a Hawaiian shirt. She's got... Um, sunscreen on the bridge of her nose and her cheeks, but only there because it's fashionable. She never rubbed it in other places. <laughs> oh, that's bad. This is yeah. bad. That, She's going to get a, a sunburn way. and then have a stripe of white. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we don't have Iris. The whole team falls apart. <laughs> Just stops <laughs> taking care of themselves. <laughs> What uh what how's Lenny dressed up for this? Lenny's got he he's got some some like surfer board shorts on and he's got like a Hawaiian button up, but it's unbuttoned and there's no shirt underneath it. And he came pre like pre sunscreened up, so he's got he's just like 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 just got this sheen on, on Yeah, him. that weird chalky white thing yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he's got the good stuff. Like he's like oh, okay, okay, okay. You brought he brought he brought the sports stuff, like yeah. The, it really stings if it gets in your eyes, but it. No. Lenny, you you're like not. you're like glistening. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's uh important skincare maintenance is like part of like a healthy lifestyle or whatever. A note that Kwame uh does have sunscreen on because contrary to popular belief, a black folk can get uh sun sunburn not as often <laughs> not as quickly but it can happen but exposure to the sun amplified by the uh, by the rays hitting the water bad combination for brown skinned people wear exactly. sunscreen <laughs> you can get skin cancer or two it's also just good for your skin <laughs> it is also uh, do people not know that yeah. There are a lot of people who don't realize that we can also burn and just assume we don't wear sunscreen. They just yes. think they get like darker. Yeah. Which we do. We but, do. Yeah. But uh uh you will you get a, a very distinct smell of cocoa butter coming from his skin as well because he wears cocoa butter sunscreen, period. Yeah, that's probably um, Manny as well. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that Manny just kind of when they when they saw each other before leaving the dorm, they probably just just went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> because you go around to any other person, if they aren't my shade or darker, they don't got cocoa butter on, probably. <laughs> probably. Anywho. Um, Love it. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nanako is wearing a one-piece uh, bathing suit that kind of reminds you of Mickey Mouse and the biggest hat you've ever seen anyone actually wear. Can't get uh, close to her. You just keep getting like rebuffed by the radius of her, the brim of her hat. Yeah. I think at some point Manny tucks their head up under it and kind of looks go at Nanako and goes, you're not going to get anywhere near Lenny with this thing on. I'm aware, but... Uh, I promised Iris I'd wear something protective apart from the sunscreen. Fine. I just don't want to hear any complaints. It's fine. Not to mention, uh, she turns around a little bit and it is kind of like being under a flying saucer. And you realize, oh, she has an amazing view of Kwame and Lenny from in here. Oh, yeah. I know it's not something you appreciate, but I can. I, is, I can. I, the aesthetic. The aesthetic is 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 not lost on me. I mean, I get it. They're very attractive young men. And on that rather creepy note from Nanako, <laughs> as the four of you, as the five of you enter, uh, what do I call this place? Water world. Water world. <laughs> yes. As the f- five of you enter, family Waterworld, fun is not a myth. At Waterworld. <laughs> yes, yes. It's themed after a failed 90s movie for some reason. Failed? Uh, the, the, the longest running uh, water stunt Universal show. show. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. That thing is awesome. That, we that just is spent actually the first a very 20 minutes of this, sh- this stream just bullshitting before we actually get to any of the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're not even gonna be I don't know what you're talking about. We talked slide. about what we're wearing. We talked about <laughs> cocoa butter. <laughs> we're doing Good we're doing fine. All we're right. Amazing. Yes. As you enter the lobby of Waterworld, you're greeted with this cacophonous noise of an arcade in its prime. Uh they got whack-a-mole, they got actual arcade games. They have those their cell phone games that are on a big screen that just eat your money, but you get tickets, so it's okay. I have a and, question. Is this yes. is this water park like Great Wolf Lodge indoor water park, or is it a water park that's outdoor? Because you said lobby, it, and that threw my mind completely. Are you are you just uh, imagining uh, the 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 State Fair California? I imagine like the Six Flags water park. <laughs> yeah, Six Flags. Woo-woo. I'm actually basing this off a water park in what I believe to be Ohio that is actually mm-hmm. indoors. Okay, okay. See the point? No, that's not see the point. No, uh, uh, it's where they do Colossal Con, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yes, you enter the lobby and you can now see the lazy river going around and the multitude of, uh, uh, sorry, water slides and you can see the tiki bar and there's a, like a little mini golf thing. But, off the ar- but in the arcade, you see Spiro going up against Noisily Weeping Taco. You're not sure if that's a real name, but that's the name they have on the screen at a Japanese dance machine game. And it is... Uh, Spiro's not wearing a lot. He's wearing just enough to not get himself kicked out. Oh! Uh, is there a dress code here? I feel like Kwame just looks at Lenny looks back at her considering we both are probably equally dressed like yeah. hero is other than he probably has a speedo on versus speedo. trunks yeah uh, I, I like, didn't our, know our shorts are just slightly longer than his speedo yeah he i didn't just, know that the guys could be shirtless <laughs> this was a water park you Dahlia, are you, are you i okay? don't have a shit on yeah and and like my shirt is like might as well not be on. It's oh, oh well, yeah, right. <laughs> Never mind. Did you miss uh, the very good-looking guys? They're also in our like. The, everybody here's really, really, really cute. You're all very Manny, cute. Many. I am a, a one-man woman. Cool. But is he a one-woman man? That's the question. We haven't really gotten that far yet. I haven't really said much to him outside of. 
What I mean, I can check if, huh? if you want. It's a massive violation of like his autonomy and privacy, but I could like read his mind if you. No, 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 no. We don't have to do that. I can. Okay. I can find it out myself. I'd love it to be natural. Okay. I don't think there's anything <gasps> natural about you seeing him and going. Ah, ah. I don't know. I see that happen to me like all the time. It seems like a lot of people do that. To, people are well, weird. I don't get it. Um, you just see smoke rising from the large hat of Nautico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you're all great and worthy of, of whatever it is that you're, you want, as long as you do it in a way that is like not gross. So, Mika, if you like Spiro, then you should just be honest with him about it instead Who's of Mika? being... We don't Wait, know Sorry, is, Dahlia. Did, did Mika <laughs> get invited? Oh, no, the, I got problem is, you the, hide. Problem is, the problem is that when... So, for people who don't know, we have the ability to display our names in a specific way, and <laughs> I, I am try. really bad at remembering people's <laughs> names unless it is on their card. <laughs> My brain just goes with whatever I see. We love so, it. We love I didn't realize I didn't change that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, but sorry, Dolly. If you like, if you like him, you should just tell him. Um, it's not. It's not healthy to like harbor a crush. Uh, it, it just gets all kinds of weird and gross. I've seen. Well, I've seen I, way. I can hear you. Um. Well, who said that I wasn't gonna tell him today for his birthday when I give him like, gifts that I made him? Are you? The hat Are is you? removed, and you see, and Nautico just has her mouth covered. <gasps> You're gonna tell him? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I wrote him a letter, a really romantic one. I signed it with a wax seal that I found in the art department. Maybe. <gasps> Who knows? <sighs> we gotta make it just, perfect. Oh, what? Mm. We gotta make it perfect. I, uh, I lean over to Lenny as I talk, and I guess like tap my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I think five dollars that she doesn't do it. <laughs> I'll take that action. <laughs> mm, uh, you can see Manny growing slightly more uncomfortable as like Nanako and Dahlia kind of like do do this. It has to be perfect. It has to be perfect routine. And and Manny's just like, oh, this. The first time they've ever like kind of regretted enabling somebody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So there's this. Okay, uh, Nanako looks around and she spots a tiki bar. <gasps> That's perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see if maybe I can get it emptied out. So it'll just be you two, and we'll get some like nice lighting in there. And Mika, go ahead, go ahead and give me a uh, intelligence roll for Dahlia. We're just looking for a three here. Okay. Oh God. Come on, Dahlia. I got a three. Oh, those. great. Perfect. Um, Dahlia is able to tell immediately, oh, nanako has been planning something like this for a very long time. And this is kind of a hobby for her at this point. Wow. Um, thank you. Yeah, that, that would be great. Privacy, just us two for the first time, because I've actually never been alone with him. Oh God! I've never been alone with Spiro. What if I make a fool of myself? Okay, I feel like we should do a little bit alleviation, alleviating of the like the 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 the, the stakes and the expectations and pressure of this particular situation. Uh, no, I, I no, just... it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. You'll confess, mm -hmm. and then you'll then uh, we'll make sure the lighting's perfect. Make sure everyone's away, and then you'll have your first kiss. Oh my God. Okay, Nanako, reel it like. 10 steps back here, please. We have to hold hands before we kiss. That is a rule. What if you're holding hands while you kiss? That's a little, not a call. I hey. tap my head again. <laughs> Make that ten dollars. <laughs> you're on. <laughs> she like audibly gulps. Okay. Well, first we gotta get on some water slides because I need to get rid of these nerves, and then I could be like, I could be like that. I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Someone call me down. Oh uh, yeah, and Lenny grabs a cup, and then you see it just slowly fill with beer. <laughs> no. Oh, no. thank you, Lenny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, oh. Dahlia, I want you to go ahead and give me a... Uh, We'll make it strength. Give me a strength roll. We're looking for a uh, four. I got a three. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and give you a drunk three. Yeah. No, uh, oh, no. Ninkasi, Ninka, <laughs> this, the Sumerians didn't drink Bud Light. They drank real they hard, drink. like, bread beer. Burr. So, they drink yeah. burr. <laughs> this, this apple juice tastes expired. Yeah. It's, oh. it's called oh, fermented. But I'm feeling confident. I yeah, feel like I, I know, might right? have a little bit of sunburn already. We should put some actual sunscreen on your whole body. One. And also some food inside of you, because that can be real problematic. Inside of your whole body to uh, water also inside of your whole body. Um, oh, we're getting food already. That is not what Spiro sounds like. <laughs> mm. Hey, that. it's me, Spiro. Hey, I'm Ital he's Italian now. Hi. <laughs> hey, uh, Spiro approaches uh, after being defeated by Jeff M. 0307, who, you know, definitely destroyed him at uh, Cartoon Heroes. You made it! Hey! Hi, Spiro. You look great. Ah, thank you. You all look wonderful. I know it's your birthday, but did you have to go that odd? You know, you could have, you know, kept a little of that that swag sauce for us, you know, right? It's, it's a little bit. Oh, but Kwame, he cups your chin and the flowery background happens. I had to show up for you. You sure for me, not anyone else? Well, I think you look perfect, Spiro. <laughs> 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 cut off cut off guard uh spiro looks to you dahlia with a huge grin oh th thank you uh, you look beautiful <laughs> lenny oh. makes and makes eye contact with dahlia and goes Good. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile lenny in his brain <laughs> I think I think this is going really super well. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I'm really glad you could all make it. I uh, been never been to one of these. You've never been to a water park. Mm -mm. It's not a have universal you... experience. Oh yeah, I forgot. You don't have them over, you know, in in in, in Europe. With all the other white people. Well, uh, we have Euro Disney. Oh, yeah, it's not the same. Because like here, it's like we have so much excess that we could just waste water. Oh, look at that. And yet there are places that don't have clean water and haven't yeah. had them for like nearly 10 years. But it's yeah. fine. Places in this country, too. It's, it's like wild. Oh, I, I, I'm aware your country is kind of... Uh, Wasteful is huh? yeah. a better word, yes. Well, shithole is also true. But yes, thank you for coming. Ah, man. I am turning 17, after all. Only do that once. Why wow, mm. you look so much older. Been there, done that. <laughs> We're glad that you're just a plain old 17, though. Yeah. One step closer to being a true adult. How does that feel? Eh. Well, next year I'm go next year I'm flying back home and I'm going to get drunk. But that's <laughs> next year's problem. Well, you know, who, who knows? Maybe in a year the world will shut down. You can't actually travel. You have to be stuck here, <laughs> doing things like wearing masks or I don't know, staying like six feet apart. Who knows? Live it I'm up sorry. while you have the time now. Kwame, those know were what... very specific. Well, you know, you hear stories every now and then. Oh. It's just the nature of who I am. Nanny just kind of elbows Lenny. Ah. If you're going to give one to her, you might as well. Huh? What? Oh, I guess. Um, if do you, do you want a drink? Uh, I mean. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, charisma roll, Lenny. Uh, we're looking for a two. 
okay. would also like to preface all of this by saying to chat, drink responsibly. Drink I got it too. On my D4. Uh, and not under I'm, actually, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say anyone's allowed to go ahead and give a charisma roll as well, if they'd like. Um he kind of blushes like he's oh, uh, I um I mean if if you got it, the cool. Oh. I rolled a ten. <laughs> All right. On a ten, uh Dahlia. <laughs> So, uh, this you're realizing now. Spiro is someone who talks big game, but he's definitely a good kid. Like he dresses the part, but really he's just sort of you know stay at home, play his music, read a book. He's a good soft boy. He's good a good soft good soft boy. boy. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm Lenny has it. great apple juice. If you want some. <laughs> I mean, Apple yeah, juice? It, it's it's it, that's not what it is. Uh, you, yeah, you that, like if you want one, like I'm not like saying you like, like it can kind of like mess up your day sometimes. Uh, but like, yeah. I mean, uh, my best friends are here. Why wouldn't I want to have my first drink? Okay, so you just like find a, an, another like like disposable cup from like you know the soda machine and just like as he's holding it it's like it's slowly filling with, with not a full glass but like maybe like this much while this is yeah. happening kwame is going to make sure that no adulates are watching Adul our group <laughs> considering that we are children <laughs> yes uh, uh, Manny, like, Manny, if, and if i know anything about an arcade uh, outside of a water park, there's no risk. There's unless our parents None. are actively here. There's no parental supervision. That being said, Manny does go and purchase the expensive, overpriced, like bottles of of water for like, like eighteen dollars for like this. Yeah, yeah. Like buys several bottles of water and immediately shoves one of them into Dahlia's hands, oh. as well as a soft pretzel. Oh, thank you, thank you. I was actually really hungry. <laughs> That's for you. Do you want cheese sauce? I can get you cheese sauce. Oh my god, I would love cheese sauce right now. Okay. <laughs> Drunk doll, yeah. Here's some cheese sauce. Please eat <laughs> all of that and drink that. She's like sloppily eating it. <laughs> As you sloppily eat your uh, pretzel and and Spiro gives a little cheers and sips on his drink, you're approached by a uh, woman. She's rather intense looking, and you guess she's like ancient, possibly like almost 30, maybe. Yeah, gross. I know. Over 30? Ugh. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I uh, couldn't help but notice you from uh, over there. Are you students at North Point? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what gave it away. Depends on who's asking. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, Miss Wang. I'll be starting uh, Monday as a new teacher at your school. Uh, duh. What, what are you teaching? Oh, I'll be teaching uh, English along with uh, world mythology. Oh. World, World mythology? mythology? Oh, wow. We know a lot about that. I guess most of you have. She gives a slight glance over to Nanako, who is currently busying herself trying to on her phone, trying to figure out exact the exact way to reserve things here at the park to make sure everything goes perfect tonight. Um, what is this woman's name? Miss Wang? Uh, Miss Wang. I would like to see if I can't roll some sort of uh, check to kind of see if I can suss out her uh, her um, her vibe. bonafides or vibes. Yes. Yeah, totally. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, uh, let's make it an intelligence. Oh, of course. My well, no longer my worst stat, but certainly not mm. my best. Yeah, we're just looking for a three here. 
Oh gosh, I mean, that's a 50-50 chance for me. <laughs> I rolled exactly a three on a d6. Woohoo! Um, despite being here and despite being at a water park of all places and having a demeanor of someone trying to be friendly, she knows a lot and she knows what you are. Do you think that maybe we should have a further conversation with you in a more appropriate location later? Kwame looks at Manny. Why? And Manny just kind of leans over to see the, sorry, what the fuck is wrong with me this today, <laughs> to Kwame and goes, let me spin you a story where this teacher knows exactly who we are and what we do. Ah, uh, okay. That's you know this is coming. This is this is becoming a more reoccurring thing than I expected. You know, like it's like every week we find someone else who happens to know who we are and what we do. What does that mean? Oh, that's the curse of divinity. <sighs> yeah, like I said, maybe a conversation we can have at school at a different time. But it's very uh, nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you as well. So, oh, uh, did you just like show up to the water park and like run into us, or do you like come to a water park looking for us? Or were you like, do you have kids invited? Are you here for the I'm... party? <laughs> I do. Uh, okay, let, I'm gonna roll something real quick for. Uh, oh God, um, Spiro, red in the face. Just throws an arm around Lenny. Now, if you were here for the party, I, I, um. Who are you? Manny just shoves a bottle of water into, <laughs> into Spira's hand. He begins to say something in French that sounds very thankful and appreciative. Okay. I'm actually here with my daughter. Oh. Is she also going to be attending North North Point? She'll be at the she'll be at the North Point Elementary program. Oh, ah. that's cool. Uh, where is she? Oh, I left her. Oh, I left her in the Lazy River for a moment. She's ten. She doesn't want to be seen with her mom anymore. <laughs> yeah. I have more questions, but as our lovely friend Manny has said, this is probably not the best, the best, the best place to talk about it. So, okay, um, happy to when we see you at school next week. Also, it is you know, uh, day off, it's friend's birthday. No offense, I don't think any of us want to talk to a teacher right now. Yeah, it's weird seeing teachers like not at school. Like I understand like conceptually that they're like. <laughs> People who have like lives, but it's like weird when you see them like not, not at school, in a, not in like normal clothing and like walking around in a bathing suit. Yeah, yeah we're also off school grounds, so whatever we do here, you can't police us for it. <laughs> that is technically true. <laughs> Man, just like this hole just keeps getting deeper. <laughs> Gets, keeps getting deeper. Uh. Oh, thank you, chat. We have unlocked rerolls for the table. Good. Oh. They're going to need them. I What? Don't worry about <laughs> it. Wait, why? Oh. Let me sober up a bit, please. But this, is, this is just, you know, a nice, like, nice uneventful trip to the water park. Nothing is going to happen to us here. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Do I get a sense that, though, while we're not talking about it, she knows. Do I get a sense that, especially since the curse of divinity, she has a divinity herself? She just yes. knows about things? Can we tell what that might be? Um, You can't really tell what her divinity is. She hasn't shown any signs, but she definitely seems to know about them, and she even called it that by name, so. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Well, um, um, uh, we don't want to take you away, your eyes away from your daughter. 
at the lazy river though it is lazy in name it is not lazy in nature you might want to go watch her again ah. very very nice to meet you and i can only assume that you were brought in under the recommendation of our dean um and we have well we're not being rude we are claiming our space we would like to uh, be left to party with oh our of friends. course of course um as she leaves, she pats you on the shoulder, Dahlia. And Lenny, could I get an intelligence roll real fast? Sure. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Um, for a brief moment, she gets a smile. And a, you hear the name Orpheus. I'm Orpheus. Huh? You were to see. And she keeps going. She's on her way back to the Lazy River. You see her talking to a young woman uh, about 10 years old. You don't even hear the conversation, but you can already tell it's a lot of, Mom, gosh. <laughs> gosh. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I do not understand how seriously each time we happen to come back together in a big moment, I don't know, perhaps in a group at a certain time and on certain day, we find more people who know exactly who we are. Just a little um, strange. I think, I think it's possible that the Dean is worried about exactly what you're talking about, which is probably why Miss Wang is here. Let us hope. So she's not here for my birthday. She's not. How are you feeling? Did you have some of that water? Do you need food? I will get you a soft pretzel too. Uh, no, no, I, I do not like the salty warm bread. Uh, you don't like soft <laughs> pretzels. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. No, don't. No, don't wait for the pretzel. <laughs> 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 I don't. Uh, uh. Drunkenly, Spiro begins toddling towards one of the slides. Well, you want like chicken tenders or something? Ooh, chicken tenders. I want to slide like my forefathers before me. Okay. Lenny's gonna like. Make sense. Why are Len you talking like you're a founding father right now? <laughs> Lenny's gonna like. I mean, he is French. Lenny's gonna go up to Dahlia and go, um, yeah, like, if anyone asks, like, throw me under the bus, please. Like, don't, like, don't think you have to, like, protect me because, like, I'm basically untouchable. So, like. So you want me to tattle on you? I'm saying, like, if you, I don't want you to, Lenny. but if it's like, if it like comes to it, like I snitches get stitches, my dude. Yeah, but also, rich white boys don't go to prison, and little innocent theater girls won't either. That's I true. Yes, Fira, I'm going to go join you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's just like this horrific display of white privilege is just yeah. walking <laughs> out horrifying. on that Nope, not being next to that for the next <laughs> nope. 10 seconds. No. Nope. <laughs> I got but too actually, real. Actually, Dahlia, as Dahlia and like everybody starts to kind of go their separate ways, um, Manny does want to pull Dahlia aside really fast. Yeah, what's up? How's it going? I mean... I, I guess it's going okay, but I just, I just wanted, I wanted to talk to you about something really fast. Yeah, of course. If you, if you do decide to, to tell Spiro that you like him, mm. like, I, I just want you to remember a, a couple of things, okay? It's really important that you remember them. Okay. I'm thinking number, real hard. Hit number me. Number one. Yeah. You one. are incredible. I'm incredible. Yes. I'm feeling yeah. great. But like, even if you weren't feeling great, it would still be true. You, you're incredible. And two. Two. Regardless of how he responds to you, mm. you are incredible. Well, yeah. I'll just be incredibly sad, but it's okay. 
that's that's I guess what I'm worried about, Dahlia. I don't I know that you really like him. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't want you to get hurt. And I know that telling people that you like them is an important part of making sure that you don't get hurt worse later on. And I encourage you to be honest about your feelings to him. I just I just want you to know that like whether he reciprocates has nothing to do with how valuable you are as a person. Oh. Well, thank you for telling me that, Manny. See, the way I've been looking at it is if he accepts, that's great. I'll finally have a boyfriend for the first time. But if he says no, I can use that emotion to further myself in my career as an actor. And I can, I can live in that moment whenever I need to come back to it. So either way, it's a win-win for me. All right. Like I said, I just want to... <laughs> I, I, I'm not entirely sure of the emotional or mental replications of the second thing you just talked about or whether or not that's good or whatever. I just, like I said, you're like my best friend. And so I want to make sure that I just want to make sure you're okay. I will be. And trust me, whatever happens, you'll be the very first person to know. Okay. And I'll tell you everything I'm feeling. Cool. Hey, Dahlia. Yeah. I love you. I love you too, Fanny. I'm very thankful that these keys brought us together. Me too. They really right. unlocked a good friendship. You know what I mean? I'll punch you. Now let's go flush ourselves <laughs> down. <laughs> now let's go flush ourselves down a toilet. Yes, at the top of the giant toilet slide that Dahlia described, uh, Spiro leans lazily on Kwame as five foot Latina and amusing cat go down first. And that's their screen name. Don't don't write me. <laughs> uh, go down first and it starts off fine. And then you just hear the screams as they go down. Uh, yeah. Are you actually okay? I know that you had a little bit to drink, but that was one glass. You shouldn't be that bad that quickly. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. He's yeah. all muscle. Have you seen him? He's got like no ability to. Like, there's <laughs> nothing there to like. Who does he think he is? Me in real life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just a. Uh, I uh. I never really had a party with friends like this before, so. You, Mr. I don't know, socialite, going everywhere, making friends. I prefer the term sex goes. god, yes. I don't. <laughs> you never had a party, really. I, uh... North Point is the fifth school I've attended in about eight years or so. Never stuck around long enough to uh, have friends like this. Well, we will make sure that today is the best day it can be because everyone deserves to have a good party at least one year of their life. And uh, when I turn 18, I am flying you out to France with me. We are going to have a good time. I'm flying, I'm, I'm flying Lenny out as well. Oh, the three musketeers going to France. What could possibly go wrong? I know, I, I know you are being sarcastic, but I think it will be lovely. And we are about to flush ourselves down a giant toilet, so I don't want to hear it. Uh, well, that's where you're wrong. We aren't going to do anything as I push him. Ah! <laughs> I think you want to give me a strength roll real fast. Oh, and no. I'm your plus six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an 11. Hey. So you have a brief moment of, oh, no, it's too hard. As he goes flying a little bit past the slide. And then gravity takes over. And he lands on the slide. 
You're good down there. Yeah, because we let's do that. You'll be fine. He is going face first down the giant toilet slide. <laughs> I just shake my head and I like <laughs> wait till like he's low enough and then I'll jump in after. <laughs> yes, down in the lazy river, he arrives face down, dead. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spin you a toy in which Spiro had a twin. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes. What are you up to right now? It's hmm? like advanced D&D. You die like right away and you end up just bringing your twin. <laughs> Roll him up. Add a second to the name. Lenny, where are you at right now? I'm, I'm in line with everybody. All right. Uh, there are four slides, a wave pool, a lazy river, a water roller coaster that uh, looks far too intimidating for almost everyone. Uh, uh, does anyone want to want to try that roller coaster? Yes, 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 yes. Roller coaster, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Roller coaster. You want to go, Dahlia? I'm going to take a pass on anything that has more than two loops right now. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's. That's actually a good idea. Do you need more water? Do you you mm. threw away half of your pretzel. I'm not pleased about that. Do you need more food? No, I think I just need to sit with this a little bit. It's overwhelming. Sip. Don't gulp. Sip. Sip. Don't gulp. I'm amazing. Sip. Don't gulp. I'm amazing. Got it. Let's go, Lenny. Yeah. As the two of you climb the structure, you're greeted with a, what looks like a 10 foot drop combined with some loops. Uh, there's one part where somehow it goes upside down. How yeah. you are in a floaty tube. I think Manny is like clutching Lenny's hand really hard the whole time and screaming and cackling at the top of their lungs. <laughs> like, yes. I gotta say, uh, Manny, uh, the, the way you're handling it is utterly terrifying. <laughs> I love roller coasters. I can't tell what your emotion is because your face seems happy, but the mouth, the noises you're making, uh, fill me with dread. I love roller coasters. <laughs> how is Lenny? How does Lenny handle a roller coaster? That Lenny handles them pretty well. Tube? Yeah, he handles them pretty well. I think you know, he, he's he's okay with it. He doesn't mind. Uh, you know, the only ones he doesn't like are like actual roller coasters where you like the ones where you're laying down and like that one or the ones that that uh, or, or you know, the, the Riddler's Revenge, because it's it because it, it's just you can't be tall and ride that ride. It's impossible. It's painful. It's, don't ride it, kids. Yeah. But yeah. Manny, Manny is Manny is all the light and screams and cackling. So. Mika, uh, how, what are you doing? Just kind of hanging out by the way. Dahlia, not Mika. Dahlia, sorry. Not uh, over stuff, apparently. She she is like sitting with her legs in the pool at the bottom of the water slide that everyone was just at. And just kind of like basking and waiting for the peak of her drunkness to end. Uh, go ahead and give me a strength roll real fast. Oh, strength? You don't mean anything else but strength? Yeah, we'll just make it strength. A two. Actually, we were looking for a two. Um, your drunkenness has decreased to one. Whew, okay. Feeling tired. So, yeah. I'm yawning. Yeah. You're yawning. You're kind of hungry again. You wish you didn't throw away the pretzel. And the corpse of Spiro comes <laughs> loading by. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right, let me get that and just sit. Okay, right. The amount I that got this would little... become a nightmare. Yeah. Just... He's not dead, but he is doing a dead man's float. Like head in the water? Yep. The best. Love it. Spiro! Do you know how to swim? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, he looks up from the water and doggy paddles over to you. I and uh, I'm not, I'm I'm not the best swimmer, no. But uh, somebody pushed me off the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Did, can I I'm hear his going. laugh? Oh, <laughs> everyone can hear the laugh. It echoes throughout the facility. It's 
it's but like that thing. there's two screams going on there's two <laughs> shrill laughs going on on two separate slides and you can hear both perfectly it's like those <laughs> moments in the in the in in the animes where like it's really close and then it zooms out and it's like the the whole part and then it zooms out it's the whole city and then it zooms out it's yeah. the whole world <laughs> and then it's like a planet like like light years away you can hear the screams and the aliens are going we're never visiting that place. <laughs> they just got two chibi faces, a chibi face of Kwame and a chibi face of Manny just cackling. Uh, Spiro wipes uh, his hair out of his face. Uh, apart from that, and the fact I'm pretty sure my soul left my body at some point, I am fine. Are you having you okay? a good birthday? Of course I am. You're here. Wow. Um... I actually have something to tell you, Spiro. Um, you're, you're very, you know, you're great, right? Like, you're, I, when I first like met, you were just like you were on your guitar in the music room, and I, I was there, and and then I, and you were you came down, and everything happened so fast, and it was just crazy, and there was like a beam of light. I like you. Do you know that? Oh my god. Um, yeah, yeah, don't talk yeah. too fast. It's fine. Uh huh? I, I, I like you too. Oh. Like, 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 like. Uh, you know? like, like. Like, like, hold hands, like, like. Maybe. We'll oh, oh, you strong. mean romantic. Um, yeah. Oh, um, I gotta oh. go. I gotta go. I gotta go right now. I gotta leave. Hold on. Um, oh, yep, it's uh... time for... <laughs> you hear that? It's time for me to go check on my friends on the roller coaster. I hope you have a great birthday. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. I'm my comic finally finishing in a five. <laughs> As... She's Dalia. gone. Dust the cloud. <laughs> Leaves a dust cloud. Uh... Spiro blinks a few times, looking over his shoulder as Kwame crashes in. Woo! Wow, that was fun. Oh, oh I haven't done that in a while. Wow. Okay. Oh, are you good? You didn't die. Great. I apologize. I've been my soul left my body for a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I, look, I, I, I have not known my own strength for the last week or so. Don't ask why. Um, <laughs> but you're here. You're having a good time. Everything good? You look. You look like you. You. You saw something. Um, I think Dahlia confessed something to me. Did she, like, confess a crime? Did she confess that she cheated on her history test? Did she confess that... She said she liked... And as soon as he says the first syllable of like, he is tugged underwater. Um, and I want you to go, I want Kwame to go ahead and roll me, uh, what's initiative again, if I'm not mistaken? Speed I believe. dexterity. Yes, Speed. thank you. Speed dexterity. Why? Purr, 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 purr. What'd you get? Oh, sorry. That is a seven for me. <laughs> okay. So, um... It will be acting first. It tugs Spiro under the water. Uh, you don't see anything, but there is something clearly pulling him beneath uh, this lazy river. Uh, he's going further and further down until he's at the bottom. And he's trying to fight it. It just doesn't seem to be working. And then he is just laid flat on his face. At the bottom of lazy river. Yes. Okay. And that will be its turn. Uh, yeah, he's like, hey, get down for... Oh, no. We can't just have one day. Just one. One. Anansi, just one. And I rush in and try to swim to the bottom of the Lazy River. And I, I don't know what I see, but I grab onto him. Um, and just start to pull him upward as best as I can. 
Uh, go ahead and give me a strength roll. That is a six on a die, which makes that a 12. Ah. Uh, it rolled an 18. What? So you try to grab him, but there is something fighting you back. And for a brief moment underwater, you see it can only be described as a dragon head. Long cylindrical and wrapped around him. You can see it barely. It's transparent. And it opens its jaws at you. And a silent roar. Uh, we're gonna no, go. no, no, no. All right, now he is going to try to get out. That is not great for Spiro. Spiro fights against it. You can see him trying to summon Hades, but he's unable to get his divinity. Uh, Lenny and Manny, as you two come splashing down into the lazy river from the roller coaster, uh, I need both of you to roll me intelligence. Sure. Six. Four. Perfect. Uh, you both notice uh, Kwame and Spiro beneath the river uh, dealing with something. Though what it is, you're not sure. Will you see that, Lenny? Yeah, I'm going to turn completely liquid and go into the water. <laughs> All right. You liquefy yourself into the pool, you nasty thing. Um mm -hmm. All right. Uh, me. Um, Manny kind of goes, where's Stalia? All right. Uh, could I get speed and dexterity from both of you? Sure. No. Uh, no? Yeah. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> uh, nine. Oh, that's... Double ones on initiative? <laughs> Would you like to use a reroll? We have them. I mean, no. I, I I I know that initiative is also protection against getting that shit beat out of me, but I'll, I'm good. I'll, I'll take the double ones. All right. Alia, where did you run off to? I ran to where I last saw Manny and Lenny, which was heading towards the roller coaster. Because um, I told Manny that I would tell them the moment it happened, what happened. And I was going to stay true to my word. Uh, as you get there, uh, you see the goddamned Kamina from uh, your history class. Blue hair, tall, muscular. Uh, but you do not see Manny. Oh, gosh. Um, can I? I don't hear them screaming anymore. Oh. You do not. Oh, okay. Calm down, calm down. Where would they go? Oh gosh, where would they go? What's the uh, go next coolest ride? Go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Okay. Three. Okay, on a three. Uh, the next coolest ride would probably be the giant bat wing shaped uh, slide that you know someone broke their neck on one time. Uh, but... All the rides feed off into the Lazy River, so that might be your best place to search. Cool. Then I'll head to the Lazy River. All right. And we are heading back to combat now. Uh, the monster gets to go first. You still cannot see it, uh, Kwame, but it is going to try to strike out at you. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I got a 17 to hit. Yeah. What, 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 what does it have to be? Uh, it has to be your initiative of seven. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, thousand, thousand percent. Yeah, that that's that, right. uh, mm. Go ahead and give me a defense roll minus one. <laughs> I believe in you. Three. Okay. Uh, let's see. You take two damage as it just something hits you, sending you backwards into the water. Um, Thankfully, you're in good shape, so you're able to hold your breath while you're under here. Uh, Lenny, you're up next. You are currently just liquid. Okay. Floating. And I need you to give me a strength roll. Okay. Oh, he's floating in the lazy river. Ah! <laughs> and Fair. He's, just, Fair. he's one with the current. All right. <laughs> Which one of those is that? That's a, this one. Ooh. Uh, ten. 
All right, all right. You are able to fight the current, uh, though you are realizing, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Liquids. They just kind of go. Physics wasn't really my thing. (laughs) No, Lenny's thing is daddy issues. Uh, Okay. (laughs) Damn. What? No, I made it. I relate. So so do do I see this thing gripping uh, Spiro? Uh, you do see Spiro fighting against something, and you see Kwame get just knocked back. Um, but you're unable to spot anything. Okay. Then I'm going to somewhat recorporealize, I guess, uh, except for my legs, which I'm going to use to, like, basically jet myself towards Spiro and, like, just, like, grab him and, like, get out of the water. Okay, uh, go ahead and make this a range and strength roll. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it just straight, or there is it with the minus two? Like, uh, you will be making it with a minus one. Eight. Uh, nine. Uh, so minus one, eight. <laughs> okay, um, that will. That works. Okay. You managed to grab a hold of... Maybe it's because it had to let go of Spiro a little bit to hit Kwame, but you are able to kind of get him into a bear hug as you torpedo yourself out of the water. Just like like, like a like a salmon just out of... In, in spawning season, just... Whoosh. You land on the concrete. It hurts, and he coughs up some water. <laughs> oh, fuck. Kwame's still down there. Yeah, I, I'm on it. And then I'll just like I'll just fall backwards into the water. All right, Kwame, you're up next. Um, you see Kwame um, get struck by something, um, and noticing that Spiro has gotten swept up by something because you're still a water form when you got him, correct? You saw half of Lenny. Yeah, I like saw Lenny, Lenny Pita waist up. I was people. Okay. Uh cool. Seeing that, I uh, I I try to. I'm not like grappled anything. I just got hit. Correct. Uh, you just got hit. You're not grappled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay. Um, I see that, and I take that as a cue, and I use. I put my foot on the ground and use that to propel myself upward, uh, back towards the top, and I um, swim out coughing. <coughs> oh, Nancy. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um. Um, uh, let me spin you a story in which the world revealed itself. I'm trying to get that thing to show what it is. Um, because it was kind of concealed underwater. He doesn't and, know exactly what he's looking at, so he needs to see what he's looking at. Um, wearing a uh, little vacation hat and sunglasses and having a, you know, little, one of those little tanning beds. Uh, Anansi glances up. Rolls his eyes. Let's do it. So go ahead and roll me uh, sh- charisma power. Yep, and I use a uh, AP point. Boom. Absolutely. Charisma power. Oh yeah. Ooh, yes, beats. That is a fifteen. Hell yeah! Um, suddenly, screams <laughs> echo out through the water park. As in the lazy river, you see a tower-headed dragon. Long and snake-like, its head resembles that of an old European tower, complete with the little, uh, whatever those things were that they used to fire arrows out of. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't a great about. history student. I, I, I see that, and I go, well, we found another rook. That's my turn. I I really hate chess. I don't hate it. I just don't like it in this current situation. Yeah. Manny, you're up now. All right. Yep. My job is to make sure that the people who are currently being exposed to this horrific creature that they don't understand uh, manage to um, feel slightly safer. So I would like to basically um, see if I can't put up some sort of like, mm-hmm. 
I mostly just want to like uh, start building the barrier essentially just like get started on that process uh the, the thing that stands between them and the monster keeping the ordinary people safe is what Got I want it. to do all right all right so maybe like a big wall of water maybe they look at lenny and like go i could use an assist um and like you know kind of start uh yeah all right uh, go ahead and give me, uh, we'll make it intelligence range. I'm sorry, intelligence defense. Cool. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. Uh... That's 12. 12. All right. Uh, the, you have put up barrier six around uh, this little part of the Lazy River. People have already seen it and gotten out, but now it is impossible to see the actual monster if you are not already in the little bubble you've created. It's like um, kind of like this uh, water, like kind of what, like, you know how like the bottoms of waterfalls have like this sort of misty, Mm -hmm. effect that makes it difficult to see into them. That's kind, I, kind of what I imagine it looks like. I love the that. The backside of the water. <laughs> oh, I miss I miss Disneyland. Uh, oh, we're being raided by Vien, Viventar. Am I, I hope I'm saying that right. Hi there, everyone. We are. You just caught us in the middle of a fight with a uh, water park dragon monster. Normal day here at North Point. Everything's going just fine. All right. Uh, Dahlia, you hear the screams. I need you to go ahead and give me a... Uh, give me a uh, dexterity roll to avoid the crowds as they are just kind of gathering around. I guess I'm still drunk because I got a one. Oh. Dahlia, you're being pushed and shoved out of the way. Um, and right when it looks like you're about to get in, a rather beefy, uh, you know, lifeguard potential. Uh, you need to stay back. We need to get everyone away. They Apparently there's an animal in the lazy river. We're going to have to shut down the rides for a minute. Uh, uh, ye, uh, right, I left my dog over there. Man, there are no dogs allowed in Waterworld. Right, that's why I have to go get it. Man, I... if you if you if you came in here with a dog, we're gonna have to remove you from the premises, ma'am. Oh wait, look, he's right over there. <laughs> She's gonna point in the opposite direction. Roll me charisma. Gosh, dang it. Need a four. She's so flustered right now. I got an eleven. Just... Where? <laughs> I'm going to take off running towards the sound. All right. And Dahlia will be joining the combat next round. Cool. Um, all right. We start at the top with the Tower Dragon. It is going to... Uh, it is rising from the mist, and it is now visible. You notice its skin is kind of like scales merging into stone. It's actually kind of neat looking. But it is going to... Uh, splash a vent of steam right at uh, Kwame. It's got you in its sights, man. I'm no, sorry. what did I do oh. to deserve this? Huh? I already died once. Yeah, it got a 22 to hit, so it's, it's going to hit. I do not like you. Okay, go ahead and roll me defense. <laughs> Am I minusing anything? Uh, no, you can see it clearly, so. Okay, that's a two. Okay, uh, you are going to take six points of damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, that burns, that burns, that burns. Ow. All right, Lenny, you're up next. All right, uh, Lenny is going to, uh, I don't know. Is it easier to fight it in the water or out of the water? Um, Lenny's gonna, he's gonna try and like grab it and like, like, just like throw it 
out of the the lazy river onto the the concrete. Oh dang! Yeah. All right. Are you going to have uh, Ninkasa help at all? Absolutely, be... absolutely. We're using we're using jets of beer to push ourselves and give us momentum. All right. Go ahead and give me strength power. All right. Strength is this one, and power is this one. Uh, that's. Are we minus anything? Uh, no, it's visible now. So, uh, fifteen. Fifteen will do it. Uh, you come out from under this thing, and I guess you Superman it onto the concrete. Uh, yeah. it's a little I, bit outside of Manny's protection bubble, but uh, it definitely does not like to be outside of its uh, habitat. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, Lenny just like he like like he falls back into the water and like becomes like liquid again and then reforms around it with his arms around it and just like poosh, like bam. All right, Kwame, you just saw uh Lenny come in a little late for the save, but uh he's gotten it out of the water. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, you see me like uh trying to not like wipe myself off in a sense, but like yeah. the steam's on my face. I'm just like, no. Um, you good? Oh, I'm fine. Ugh. Ugh. Of course, you had to target me at the water park. That's fine. Now, Nancy, you know what I do. And I like punch my finger hands together. And I say, let me spin you a story in which the venom strikes truest. And I'm going to um, summon the the now venom strike gloves that I coined the other day with the two fangs. Cool. Uh, As you successfully uh, summoned those before, and I haven't made anyone else uh, spend a turn to get their weapons back, you have them. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> then, I, then I'm going to uh, uh, go up and just try to bop as hard as I can. Cool. Um, um what, what do I roll again? Help me. Um, Manny, you're muted. That's okay. I only said it for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the chat uh, hurt the chat knows is it, what is it, it said. Strength plus something. Oh, it will be uh we'll make it strength and power. Strength power, thank you. Because my web capture still picked it up. Oh dear. Yeah. It's nice if you want to send little secrets to chat. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Ten. Nine. Nineteen. Oh, that is going to hit. Yeah. You get up and you just boom. Uh, go ahead and roll me uh sh your strength plus a six for your damage. I'm gonna roll its defense. Uh, that's a five on the die, so an 11. Okay, that will make it take six damage. It is uh, in pain. Don't it mess with me, pain. okay? <laughs> that hurt! <laughs> Thanks, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You like do that again, but like on the other side, you know, like you know, I take one side, you take the other. Spiro comes in with the uppercut. I don't know. We make oh yeah, eight. yeah, we can full on like, like just mess this boy up. Just unholy Trinity, just bow. Unholy Trinity, K Bonet. So, uh, on that note, Spiro uh, is actually going to slam his hands on the concrete. Uh, you see ripples flow from where he hit. Uh, and sharp spikes begin to pop up. However, uh, they the thrashing of the tower dragon manages to avoid all of them. I rolled a nine. I just want to say, I'm probably the only person who caught the joke you just gave, and that's okay. And that's why I love you the most. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's, that's that's a big statement from. I love everyone. All I've right. known you for a while. We have almost the same birthday and no, okay. grew up in the same same neighborhood. But okay, yeah. That's my it's second fine. rejection of the day. It's all yeah, good. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Spiro didn't reject you yet. <laughs> you ran. You ran. You can't reject me if I'm not there. 
<laughs> it's true. Everything about that confession was just way too fucking real for me to handle. I was just like, yeah, you know, yeah. All of this is not from a real, very real place in my life. That uh, hit me in the teeth. Yeah, it was just like I came out here to have a good time, and I am honestly feeling <laughs> yeah. so attacked right now. <laughs> all right. Next up is Manny. Uh, okay, time to bust out the sword and. Cut this rook down to size, hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my uh, strength and power and add two. I love knowing what I roll. Hopefully I roll well. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. So that's an 18. No, nope, that's oh. a 17. A 17, but still. I don't know if that hits, though. That absolutely hits. Yeah. Okay. Roll damage. I am. I love this. This D12 is hot today. Uh, that is an 11 damage. Oh, man. Uh, it has pretty good defense, but you do a good number on it. You come in and just... Manny, I'm not saying you're a knight, but you make a damn good knight. I always um. wanted to slay a dragon. How to slay your dragons. Huh. So With a uh, sword. Yeah, generally. Dahlia, you have to push through the crowd a little bit hard to get through. Uh, you see Great Sage under heaven. Not the Great Sausage under heaven. Um, but but you were able... It could be if I wanted to. <laughs> and you managed to push by them. Uh, and you see this large towering monstrosity as Manny just heroically stabs it. And I'm going to need a dexterity speed roll from you. From me? Yeah, since you're joining combat. Oh, right. Oh, right. I thought I was dodging something. Dexterity speed. I got gnats on both of those, so I got a 14. Nice. Okay. That is very impressive. All your joints to combat late, but they they will be starting it. And before you do, we hear the wonderful chime of dun 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 dun. At the water park, that makes no sense. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I have the same alarm. We are being stalked by the school, and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, welcome, water park officiants. Uh, it's time for your daily water park announcements. I guess. Uh, I guess. This one's coming from Five Foot Latina. It says, uh, auditions for the North Point Academy Experimental Latin Jazz Band are scheduled for Tuesday on the lawn in front of the old gym. Bring your own maracas. They will not be provided for you. We cannot be uh, providing maracas. That's it for Water Park related announcements. You all have a wonderful day. Oh. I really like this new guy that we hired to do the announcements. He's pretty yeah. great. I love him. We should talk to him about him. the smoking, but otherwise he's awesome. I also love I that the water park... smoke on school grounds. I love that the water park didn't announce that there's a creature in the pool, but announced that instead. Don't worry about it. All right. The deepest sigh just comes from Kawame. I'm going to have nightmares over that sound. I do not like it. Do they have a twin? I swear they have a twin. Do they have two jobs? They have two jobs. That's what they do. <laughs> Watch. Next All time right. we're going to go to, I don't know. Sometimes uh, you just have to learn not to question it too hard or you, you your mind slowly starts to break into pieces. But I have to question everything. It's what I do. Yeah, that's every, fair enough. Uh, every story has a question. I don't like And that. if we get enough subscribers, you'll have to deal with that on your spring break. So that should be interesting. No. Throw that out there. Just for the I chat. mean, huh. I'm not I don't ever want to discourage chat from donating, but like sometimes the best way to to encourage them to donate is you get to torment us. I'm just saying sometimes that's the incentive. You get to watch us suffer. Just saying. Please make me suffer. Or masochist. Well, now that I know a bit too much about Mika, it's Dahlia's turn, and Dahlia has the best initiative right now. Uh, so what does the scene look like as I run up on it? So, 
Uh, the area, you now see large concrete spikes sticking out of the water, and the tower dragon is throwing themselves, roaring in rage. Uh, Kwame has the spider fist ready, and Manny has their sword. And uh, is Lenny fully human or half human? What are we looking at? Here? Um, yeah, he, he he went full human as he like came out of the, the pool. Yeah, um, and Lenny is just has Ninkasa at the ready. Ninkasi, right? Ninkasi, yes. Ninkasi, sorry. Um, you are in the heart of a battle. Yep. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Yeah. Into the woods! And she's going to try to blind the dragon, like how the prince gets blinded going for Rapunzel in the musical Into the Woods. <laughs> I love it. With thorns. Okay. With thorns. Um, all right. Go ahead and roll me uh, your dexterity power minus two, as this sounds like a pretty standard magician hit. Got a nat 10 and... Love it. A three minus two, so 11. 11 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Same roll, plus two. Oh my god, I rolled a one. Uh eight damage. Eight damage. Uh your thorns go slicing at this tower dragon. Uh it's still standing. It is not happy. And you realize you have hit it in the eyes. Great. That's when more eyes open. Huh? Oh, no. oh god. Sorry! Yeah. It's oh. now its turn, and it lets out a bellowing roar, and it is going after you, Dahlia. Totally not CP. Wow. Do you need me to roll defense? Yeah. Uh, it. Well, let's see. It, it got a crit, so uh, one sec. Like a crit success? On a hit. Do you need yep. me to roll defense? Because I rolled one sec. Okay. One sec. Okay. okay. Steven's going to need you to roll a new character. <laughs> so uh, we're looking. Go ahead and roll defense, please. Yeah, I already did. Um, here's where. Here's the twist. I got a not one on defense. Oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, Take 15 damage. I'm oh, so sorry. Oh, 15. Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'm just at nine health points. It's no big deal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like that. <laughs> My house is not like that. <laughs> Steven, um, we were we were promised a fun afternoon at a water park. I as know. she gets hit, she's going to look at the actual dragon for once. Hey guys, I think it's a rock. Oh wow, I didn't didn't get that till like just now. And that's when you hear the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Again? Who did it this time? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. You are muted. Yep. Hello, my fellow <laughs> water park enthusiasts. Uh, welcome. I was wondering why. Uh, yo, uh, you got to... Uh, we got uh, another announcement from uh, Totally Not CB. says, announcer individual who pr pronounces I don't know should get to be North Point Employee of the Month. Hey, you know, I agree with you. Uh, take, your uh, take this time to say 15 seconds acceptance speech for your award. I mean, I, I never won nothing in my life. You know, uh, I... I had a lot of jobs in my life. I've done a lot of things, a lot of gigs, and, you know, life is about experiences. And, oh, boy, have I had a lot of experiences I tell you about. Uh, uh, but uh, I can't. Uh, what's that? Yeah. No, I, yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm not supposed to do this for personal stuff. All right. So enjoy Water Park. Uh, welcome to Water World where f family fun is not a myth. <laughs> Again. I don't know what happened. Again. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit. You you killed Aki. You oh, killed Aki. They're man. gone. They left. <laughs> that was good. I've <laughs> built a, a whole backstory for this character. This character has a lot of small small time jobs all over the place. Is yeah. If Lenny yeah, ever like bites it, we can get the announcer person. In. Yeah, please turn to the actual <laughs> high schooler. You just don't even know it. <laughs> Lenny just the gets high transferred. The smoker boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm only sixteen. I've had a hard life. <laughs> uh, by the way, chat, we are uh, sixteen subs away from ruining spring break, and we are thirty three dollars away from our next tier unlock. So, just throwing that out there for you. So, welcome back, Aki. All right, the Tower Dragon went Lenny's turn. Okay, Lenny. It, after watching this thing attack Dahlia, is just gonna go full force with with uh, a magical attack and just summon a big old, a big old like f like crashing wave of, of like w forceful like water to just like smash into this thing as hard as he can. All right, uh, that's a, gonna be a magician hit. Um, yeah. So so do we have rerolls? <laughs> We do have rerolls. Okay, I'm gonna use one of those because good uh, call. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. No, no, no. Six. Actually, no. That, the other one would have been like eight. Which, that's the mess. Yeah, neither one. I was like eight. That's not enough. Let's roll six. Mm. You're firing off, and it's just yeah. It wide. just he like tries to like. Do, it's just like the the thing like he he fires both but the thing just like and like gets out of its way yep <sighs> uh okay now it's kwame's turn Ugh. uh how does dahlia look right now oh she's at nine hit points of 24 nice. cool um Oh, okay. Um, I, I look back and say, I normally don't say things like this, but I just stay back and let the guys handle this. This is not something misogynistic. Just, just stay back. You are hurt. Okay. Sit down. Um, and I will splay my hands out as um, I use Anansi to spin like a, 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 a cocoon-esque thing around Mika, around Mika, around Dahlia, not hindering her, just like around their chest. Um, to give them a little bit of protection from potential other um, uh, dangers that might hit them. Right so you're now. trying to make armor? Yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, go ahead and give me intelligence defense. Spider silk is technically stronger than steel. Hello. Spider Dahlia, Spider Dahlia. That's a crit on both die. That's a ten and a four. Dang. Um. So Dang. Four, Fourteen, I guess. Or what? Do, what is that? That's something with crits, right? Uh. So Dahlia now receives armor fourteen. Heck yeah. And I'm like, look. <clears throat> uh, you you need to just protect yourself. You need to be prepared for when you know you do you 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 um. Um, this conversation you, just got very strange. You do. You get sit this. I'm gonna. I'm I, look back at the, I look back at the tower. <laughs> the <Wait>. tower <laughs> is still vicious and roaring and dangerous. This... Uh, Spiro comes running up to you, Dahlia, and falls to his knees next to you. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm better than ever. Uh, yeah, I'm great. I think we have a... Uh, we gotta kill this thing, Spiro. Let them handle it. Uh, and he uh, puts his hand on where the dragon hit you. Uh, let's... Closes his eyes, and you have been healed for nine. The power of Hades and Persephone. Oh my gosh. 
Thank you. Oh boy. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. I, I'm sorry. I I just No, was... you don't need to apologize. It just uh, th- um while you two kind of fumble Argue. over words. <laughs> Manny, it's your turn. Manny just kind of looks at that. I just kind of go, mm, what's happening <laughs> over there? And then <laughs> roll the hit. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll take a reroll. Let's okay. See if we can do better than that. We're down to three. That's slightly better. That's a uh, eleven. Eleven hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. And that is seven damage. Seven damage. It has one hit point remaining. Uh, Manny, you stab into the multi-eyed, concrete-scaled white creature. Um, it lets out a roar of pain. It is, it is just thrashing because it is a wild animal in pain now. It is not a... It's not a pawn of the oh thanks for the reset. It's not a pawn of the White King anymore. It is just angry. Um, Dahlia, you're up. Uh, how close is are all of my friends to this thing? Uh, everyone's pretty close. Kwame's the farthest. Uh, Manny's the closest. Yeah, Manny's in melee with this thing. I'd like to put a barrier that's easy for them to duck behind if they need to dodge an attack made of mandrake roots or mangrove roots, sorry, (laughs) mandrake, mangrove roots that grow out of the pool and just envelop the whole area and give them like cover in case they need to take it. Okay. Um, Go ahead and roll me defense and intelligence and spend an AP point, of course. Of course. Defense and intelligence. I got a nine. All right. Uh, we'll round that up. Manny now has defense, now has uh, roots five. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. You said roots five, and I just said, wait, the movie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the tower dragon is going to go after Manny. It is pissed. Come at me, bro. I have a crap initiative, and therefore I'm easy to hit. Yeah, you really were. It beat your initiative by a lot. Gotta roll my defense roll. Gonna take some damage. All right, roll a 13. What'd you got on your defense? I got a five. All right, add the five from uh, what Dahlia gave you. So you got a 10? Mm-hmm. Uh, you take three. Cool. Thank you, Dahlia. I love you. It takes a bite at you, Manny, but it mostly gets root. It, like, barely scratches your arm, but it's enough to be like, <laughs> ow, that hurt, you jerk. That's what Manny says. That hurt, you jerk. <laughs> All right. Kwame is up. I think um, I got him. I think I got it on the ropes, Kwame. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not used to this. You got this. I don't think I do. Um, and I guess run back over and like, uh, how is this thing looking? Not looking, but like physically, it's a big dragon thing with the tower for a head. It is like a Chinese dragon. It's very long and serpent-like, and the head turns into a sideways tower. And it's covered in eyes. How big is it? Um, 14 feet long. <laughs> yep. With my size, could I get my armor like around its neck? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to attempt to get to it and like just use my strength to wrap my hands around its neck and quite literally just choke it and like try to just... Just, just you're gonna WrestleMania this thing. I am. I'm attempting to. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, 
Go ahead and give me a strength roll. This doesn't sound like you're using uh, your divinity uh, for this. Oh, no, fuck that. No, see, I need all the help I can get. Um, and I want him to, um, uh, as I'm putting my uh, arms around its neck, I want those, I want uh, Anansi's webs to like go around as well and constrict even more. Uh, just try to get the life out of it. Spend the AP points. Go ahead and give me strength, uh, power. Strength and power. Going that Am I, is that a 10 or is that 12? That's 10. That's very guardian of you, Kwame. A little bit. Uh, that is a 16. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll me damage. Which would just be your strength. Like you know, yeah, she's up. I, I will always ask questions. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you do. Eleven. All right. Uh Kwame, you get your arm around it and you get your spider web as well, and you begin to tighten on this thing. Uh you're basically garroting it. That's not a word. Whatever. Garroting. Um, garroting, thank you. Yeah. It's pronounced uh, garroot. <laughs> I, I am garoot. garoot. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> you owe me a soda. Yeah. You begin to take life out. It, it roars one last time, and you feel it snap in two ah. as it cracks and crumbles. Uh, and you are left just standing there out of breath. And did the it, combat Kame? is over. That was cool. You did it. I'm just going to. I, I, I guess lay down. <laughs> just, Hi, uh, 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 Kwame lays down. Manny kind of picks up his, his hand <laughs> for him and just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> Kwame, are you feeling okay? I'm fine. I just need to uh, rest up a little bit. Oh, used a lot of strength for that. How are you feeling, Lenny? Oh, I'm I'm good. Got this really rad. I, do you think it'll scar? I'd love to be able to tell people I got a scar from fighting a dragon. That'd oh, cool. yeah. Cool, right? I mean, that's, yeah. that's pretty dope. I mean, it would be cool, but the question is, would they believe you? Ugh. I would know, and you all would know, so that's all that matters. And I would be telling the truth, which is also what matters. And if they believe you, then you know you've made another great friend. Yeah. How are you, Dahlia? You got knocked off, knocked around pretty bad. Looks like you're feeling a little bit better, though. Yeah, um, feeling great. I didn't really get to revel in the pain that much because um, Spiro healed me a little bit. Oh, that was oh, great. That's heck of nice. Thanks, yeah, Spiro. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, my pleasure. Dahlia, could I talk to you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. We can, we can go talk. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love, to, love to. Mhm. Mm hey, um, I'll uh, see all of you over at the tiki bar. I've reserved it a little for uh, dinner. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go, go have fun. Go, do what you need to do. We'll see y'all in a bit. Yeah, for sure. It'll be great. We'll see you over there. Uh, as Manny, Lenny, and Kwame start to head over, Kwame just says, it definitely happened. I think this is going to be the um, the answer to the question. Ah, okay. So, yeah, you could, you could hit me up uh, with that $10 whenever, like, you know. <laughs> you made a bet. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. You made a bet. I did you... nothing. Did... Linux Thatcher, did you read my mind without permission? No, I, I full on had permission and you said... <laughs> In what you... world did you have permission? You pointed at your head and went, yo. I was scratching the <laughs> nugget on the side of my head. And, and then you said, <laughs> you said, Lenny, I'm going to put $5 that this isn't going to happen. You are putting then, words into my brain then, that did not happen. And then you did this again. And then you or were all like, it lying. hurt again. Exactly. And then you were like, let's make it 10. One of you is lying. <laughs> As you all have that wonderful conversation, uh, 
away from the crowd as uh, Manny's mist barrier disintegrates and you're le- and everyone's wondering what the hell happened to the lazy river. Um, Dahlia Spiro has led you over to kind of a quiet part of the park near the wave pool. There isn't a lot of people there. Uh, you see Nightshade eighty eight, who Spiro just kind of gives a hey. I am reminded. He nods and uh, leaves the two of you. Um, so you said something and then kind of ran away. Yeah, I say things all the time. Um, a lot. I say a lot of things a lot of the time. But it depends, like if you heard it and you. Had something to say back, but if you don't have anything to say back, we can forget I said it, and we'll just treat it as like an acting exercise, and then we can all go back and enjoy your birthday. I mean, um, I like you too. Like I, I just uh, how um. I don't know if I, that's, um, I don't really have romantic feelings towards anyone. Oh, you're a romantic. Kinda. Oh. I love you and I love Kwame. I love Manny. I love Lenny, even yeah. though I'm pretty sure Lenny has uh, peeked at me in the shower once or twice, but that's neither here nor there. Wait, I think he's peeked in the shower. I'm pretty sure he's jealous. He's jealous of my pecs. Oh, but you guys are both super built. Uh, why would you, Why you. would he be jealous of you? I I don't know. I don't think he appreciates how good he looks himself. But uh, it, it's I don't want to claim anything yet. I'm I just no, turned that's... seventeen. I just. Uh, um, that is okay. Like, it sounds like you're a romantic, and that's fine. I'm not gonna like be upset because it doesn't align with like me. I'm the opposite of a romantic. I fall in love with everybody. So like, is this totally and, fine? I'm just no, glad no. that you don't like don't want to talk to me anymore like that kind I, of thing. No, no, I love talking to you. You, most people don't get how passionate things can get with the arts. That's why I like Kwame so much. That's why I like you so much. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I have a birthday gift for you. You said the arts and it reminded me. I, so I've been trying to look at more stuff that has to do with music, but also still aligns with like my stuff. Cause I know that you love music so much. So I watched this movie, I Googled and I was like musical, movies that kind of like a musical theater but also like heavy metal and i found this movie called tenacious d and the pick of destiny and so i made you a replica of the pick of destiny because it's the pick that jack black was trying to get the whole movie and so i wanted to make it and hopefully it'll make your your guitar playing a lot cooler i'm i'm touched Th- thank you I, I wish i had pockets oh i'll hold it and i'll give it i'll give it to you it's cool <laughs> So you don't lose it. You don't have much to hold it in. Sorry, I didn't mean to look. Um, it's it's a, <laughs> he's blushing real hard right now. Um, look, Dahlia, I uh, I don't want to say no. Okay, we if can leave it. Could we as... try a date? Yeah, yeah, we can try. Are you kidding me? Yes, we can try a date. That's more. That's better than I thought it was gonna. Oh, oh, yes. Cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Yeah, cool. Mhm. Cool. Yep. You're uh, cool. very excitable. I'm full of emotions. You'll learn to love it. <laughs> I think I already do. Now uh, we have a tiki bar to go eat overpriced chicken at. Yes, we do. And celebrate our win against a rook. 
I am beginning to really, really hate chess. <laughs> Me too. She's going to start walking towards the tiki bar. He is joining you. Um, Nanako's there, and she's... She's already ordered. She's got you guys some food. She's like, I don't... And halfway through dinner, so what happened? Was there like a snake in the lazy river or something? Uh, I heard it was like, you know, uh, a pocket of gas ruptured uh, 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 underneath and it like, you know, it like cracked some of the foundation or whatever. I heard there was a kid who, um, you know, decided that the lazy river was a bath the toilet. You know, it was a snake, just brown in color. Nanako actually laughs at that, which is very surprising. <laughs> oh, somewhere Iris just got a major headache and doesn't know why. Um, hey, Dahlia, did you... Sorry I couldn't get everything together today, but... Uh... Oh, no, it's not needed anymore. I have to go talk to Manny really quick. Hi. Hi. Uh... Oh, you look, are you okay? We're gonna go on a date. That's right. right. That's great, Dahlia. Right. I'm so glad that it went well. You seemed like a little bit, I was worried about you. Well, cause I told him I liked him and then I ran before he could say anything. Cause I didn't want to, if, if I lived in the limbo, there was no good and no bad. I was just at peace in that moment. You know? Nautico sneezes. <laughs> Excuse me. What's it like? Yeah. I mean, like liking someone like that. Oh, terrible. All encompassing. I can't, I wish I could get my thoughts off of them most of the time, but like all the time I, I have crushes <laughs> and that's all Gosh. I can think about. And it's rough. I've never had a crush on anyone before. I kind of think that that's probably for the best. Huh. Are you aromantic as well? What's that? It's where you don't really feel romantic feelings for others. You don't feel a need to feel romantic feelings for others. Yeah, that's probably about right. Wow. I knew I was ace. I don't I now don't think I ever put it together that I might be a romantic too. Wow. Two of my favorite people are aromantic. That's awesome. Oh. Wait. Who what? I think Spiro might be aromantic because he says that he doesn't really feel those feelings for people. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well. Yeah, I'm glad that he's he's opened the door for for you guys to try a date. Yeah, and before before homecoming too, before prom, like, oh, what if we get to become queen and king or on the prom court? Well, I'm. I mean, as long as it's any combination of 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 y'all, that's good. Yes. Um, Yes, it was kind of cool. Like I get to, I get to say that uh, I I helped slay a dragon, like a knight, like a knight does. I'm a big big. Yeah. Star. You would make the coolest knight. Wait, what if we get to pick what we got to be on our boards, and you get to be the knight? Oh, maybe. I could be cool with that. I need really rad armor. Ma'at, do you think you could make me really rad armor? As Ma'at goes into detail about the armor, they will gladly make you. Though I hope you like an Egyptian thing, because that is what you're getting. Um, yes, that's why I asked. <laughs> the six of you have a... The food's not great. The food's not that's great. Part, the atmosphere is whatever, but it's... Possibly one of the best meals in Spiro's life. Like I said, the last thing you see is um, Kawame tossing a box towards Spiro, and in the other hand, he's passing Linux a $20 bill. 
Uh, what's in the box? Spiro's gonna open it immediately. Spiro's uh, like, it's um a box? a beaded necklace, not necklace, beaded bracelet that's made of black lava stone, and then the main uh charm is a um is a uh small little golden spider. Just a nice little um um ah. accessory from. I think Manny got Spiro like a really nice leather portfolio to keep his sheets in. <laughs> Lennox got him a, a gift card to a, a motorcycle training school so that you can like take it and then get your like over the course of a weekend, get your motorcycle license. And Nanako got him a collection of Moko Chew stickers. So he got a good, good spread and he's very happy. And as he puts on the bracelet and gives you all a warm smile, that is where we are going to wrap up this episode of New Pantheon Academia. I love Spiro. We all love that good, good boy. Thank you all for joining us here today on Saving Throw for New Pantheon Academia. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at Stephen Pope 101. Mostly it's me just shit posting. I don't have Twitter right now. I might get it again. Oh, uh, Bleb, thank you for the resub. I will be including you for next week, so make sure you come back for that. Um, Make sure you come back for uh, Broken Pact, our Theros-based D&D adventure sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. That's tomorrow, Monday the 29th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Lenny, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can always find me on all the social media at Mostly Eric, where I, I do, uh, where I also have the salsa name on Twitch. So that's me everywhere. <laughs> they can find awesome. Lenny at Mostly Eric? Yeah, probably. Okay, you know what? You knew what I meant. I don't need this sass. I, I like how like everyone keeps calling uh, Dolly Amika, and now I almost now... said the five pieces of yeah. Exodia because everyone but Eric called me Mika today. Yeah, I realized everyone did it, and I was like, I have to not do it. That it, it was impressive. Now, Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me over on Twitter at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And my entire Twitch streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. And I finally put Let's Get Wild Mount on there. So, yay, it is a complete schedule. Um, I am going to be over on the Good Time Society doing the second part of the two shot of the Calyx, playing Call of Cthulhu with Becca Scott as our keeper. That's going to be happening at, I believe, 7 p.m. on the Good Time Society. I'm really excited. I don't get the opportunity to play horror very often, and this is a lot of fun. <laughs> nice. Uh, speaking of Let's Get Wild Mount, uh, CB, where can they find you? Hi. Uh, yes. Uh, my name is Omega Jones. Also known as Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, uh, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bard because I do too many things. Uh, I yeah, like uh, uh, every Saturday at one thirty Pacific Eastern Time. Uh, Peace Pacific Eastern Time. <laughs> Pacific Time uh, is Let's Get Wild Mountain over on my channel. Um, I do other things um, other days as well. Um, if you want to know what I'm doing, uh, just follow me on my socials and keep looking out because there's always something happening. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much me. There's other things I want to announce, but I can't announce yet. That we announce soon. Oh, actually, no. I'll be DMing for Jasper's Game Week uh, at the end of April. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, uh, raising money all week to, uh, for suicide prevention. Um, I'll be playing uh, also with uh, David Blue, Anthony Rapp, and a couple other people as well. Uh, it's gonna be a good time, so check it out. Awesome, and Mika. Hi, <laughs> you can find me anywhere at RAP Mika. Like, rest in peace, Mika. I almost died today, so I almost made that come true. Um, <laughs> I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at around 12 p.m. Eastern, not Pacific Eastern, just Eastern. And um, this is my regular weekly show. I don't I think I, oh, in, in April, I do have a show coming up that I will be doing. It's a Harry Potter RPG that is made entirely by fans, so none of the profits go towards Yay. Uh, J.K. Rowling. It's a completely fan-made. 
RPG. Turfs. And we will be uh, like making sure to make that clear. Fuck turfs. We support trans people. We have a great cast as well. So that'll be yeah. fun. Uh, and I have, and I said, I hinted earlier, I had a big announcement and I was saving it for now. We are launching uh, a role play server on the Saving Throw Show Discord. Set in the world of New Pantheon Academia, it will be canon. So anything that happens there will affect the show. What happens on the show will affect there. You'll be able to make your own character. And if you are a Patreon backer, your character that will be introduced in the main campaign will be a big part of that as well. You can also play with these guys. They're going to be popping in every so often, and I'll be running a big chunk of it. So uh, we will have that out soon, and we will have more information next week. Until then, thank you all so much. Thanks to Zom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. Couldn't do without you. Uh, also, a special thanks to our friends at Die Hard Dice. Don't forget, uh, if you use Natural 20 at checkout, until the end of March, you get 10% off your order. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow for Broken Pact. And until then, my name's been Stephen Pope. See you later. Bye.